Hey guys, what's up? My name is Caleb. Welcome to or welcome back to the channel where I play with Pokemon's Generation 1 through 8, even though there are 9. <laughs> I don't crack myself up every time I say that shit. Um, but today, I'm going to be bringing you guys some ranked double battles in Regulation E. Um, there's really not any sort of original team concept left this far into the game. Um, I'm really looking forward to the new DLC com comment content coming out in December. It'll switch things up. My cat Hickory is jumping up on every Hickory. Come on, buddy. He's got so many things to play with and he just wants to be where the action is. But anyways, I'm going to get into this. We've got Dusclops with Frisk and Eviolite. We are Terra Dark to help us avoid a taunt from a prankster Pokemon with Trick Room, Helping Hand, Nightshade, and Will-O-Wisp. We've got Tyranitar with Sandstream, Life Orb, Terra Steel with Protect, Rock Slide, Earthquake, and Ice Punch. We can hit really hard with an, um, Rock, actually just Tyranitar just hits hard in general, but Rock Slide is its, uh, main niche. It's just really great. Uh, Weavile, um, we've got Pickpocket and Focus Sash. Pickpocket will not ever... Um, come into play really unless something breaks the sash and I've knocked off a Pokemon and we're picking up whatever items there. I've never seen it happen, but we are Terra Dark with Fake Out, Ice Spinner, Knock Off, and Ice Shard. And what we're trying to aim to do with this team, it's a little gimmicky, but it does work. Weavile and Vivalon with Compound Eyes and Choice Scarf. Uh, it's also Terra Steel, but um, got Hurricane, Sleep Powder, Palm Puff, and U-Turn. So what you want to do is lead with Weavile and lead with Fiblon. Fake out the Pokemon that you want to Sleep Powder. Sleep Powder is basically 100% accurate with Compound Eyes. So you fake out that Mon, Sleep Powder the Mon, and then Sleep Powder the other Mon that you did not previously fake out and Sleep Powder. So you've got two Pokemon asleep on the field. Um, a lot of time it forces switches. A lot of times your opponent... Actually, your opponent really has no idea that the Vivalon is going to be Choice Scarf, but it is moving very fast. Its move pool is decent. It's got okay special attack, but we're not really looking to do anything crazy with it aside from just putting things to sleep and occasionally using Pollen Puff. Um, then we've got Torkoal with Drought and Charcoal to boost the power of our fire type attacks. We are Terra Fire with Protect, Eruption, Heat Wave, and Earth Power and Hisui and Lilligant. With chlorophyll, we are max speed instead of max attack. And um, with the covert cloak, covert cloak, we are able to power through a fake out and be able to after you for Torkoal, and have sleep powder just for additional sleep coverage. Leaf blade and axe kick for stab moves, and we are terrifier. But yeah, so let's get into some battles and see what we can do. Our record is, it's a little bit whack right now, I'm not going to lie. Just the amount of battles that I've done testing, which in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done ranked battles. Um, I think next season, Hickory, get down. My damn cat. My fucking damn cat. I think next season what I'll do is I will climb to the Master Ball tier. And we'll play like that. I've got to shut my cat out of my room he he is a mess um but yeah i'm gonna climb to the master ball tier next season just get there and then we'll be able to play with all these fun teams um not that these fun teams can't break into master ball tier um but yeah all right so a battle against xing Lang ling on chow pow is about to begin um, we've got a Meowth a King Gambit, Mudsdale, I haven't seen that for a while. Uh, I think that thing's name is Ting Lu. Um, we've got Dragonite and Annihilate. It looks like a Trick Room team. Um, I don't know if Ting Lu or whatever its name gets Trick Room, but I do know that Meowth does get Trick Room. So I think what we want to do here is if we lead off... There's no redirection. If we lead off with... Yeah. Let's do that. We'll lead off with Vivalon, um, Prismalon, which is French. And it is a fancy Vivalon. Um, and Miss Keisha. <laughs> the Weavile. 
And then we'll bring in Consuela, our desktops, and I desktops, and I think. I think I'm going to bring in that back tiring it's hard just to um, hit pretty hard and we are slow like we're not trying to outspeed anything like aside with um, Miss Keisha and Prismalon. All right, so I like that trainer card. I talk about this every damn time. I cannot take a good trainer card picture to save my life. But we do have dual mamas in the background cheering us on. Um, we are going to sleep Powder King Gambit. And we are going to fake out Meowskarada. Alright, so we're going to see a Terra straight up from our opponent. King Gambit, Terra, Ghost. Maybe he was expecting a fake out into it, but that's not what we're doing. Going for the sleep powder. And then Miascarada will flinch. That thing's definitely. That thing for sure has Trick Room. So here, I'm going to switch out into Dusclops and we are going to fire off. And. Mm. Yeah, we need to get rid of this thing. We'll fire off an Ice Spinner. Into. Oscarada. So yeah, we're gonna switch out here. Out comes Consuela. Yep, so we have Focus Sash and Rocky Helmet. He's gonna withdraw King Gambit just I guess to try to preserve it a little bit. And out comes Mudsdale, which is fine. Ice Spinner should be able to kill this Meowskarada. Yep. Yes, Mama's cheer for us. Cheer as loud as she possibly can in the opposing trainer's left ear. Alright, so there's King Gambit again. I think what we want to do here is we are going to will o -Wisp the Mudsdale. And we're going to knock off... Um, oh, it woke up on its first turn. Okay. So it goes for the Sucker Punch into Dusclops, which is a fail. We hit this thing decently hard. We knocked off its rocky helmet. We took a little bit of damage. That's fine. Here comes body press, which is 100% going to kill Weavile. But that's fine. Hopefully we can connect this will o -Wisp. Come on, Consuela. Aim with your one fucking eye. You've got one thing to do, and that's burn this shit. All right. So that thing's burned. Uh, I think what we want to do here is just go out into Tyranitar. Terra Steel. Nah, we don't want a Terra Steel here. I think what we want to do is we want to try to burn that and I think we should start ice punching the Mudsdale do a decent amount of damage there stamina is going to boost its defense which that's fine um, here comes a low kick yep it's going to take out Tyranitar if we can land a burn come on Consuela you got this mama There's the Will-O-Wisp into King Gambit. Mm. 
Leftovers on Mudsdale. Okay. Okay. I think that we can do this. I think, therefore, I am. So, out comes Vivalon. Vivalon's actually gonna be attacking now. Beautiful, beautiful Pokemon. Shiny Vivalon is actually really cool. Um, here we're going to... Nightshade will kill that, and I think... I think we go for a hurricane into... Uh, okay, so we take the... Yeah, we take the Sucker Punch just fine. Here's Hurricane onto King Gambit, which is going to take it out. I never really realized how thin King Gambit is. There's Rock Tomb. Okay, yeah, that hurt. Our speed's going to fall, but Nightshade will take out Muddell. We are buffeted by the sandstorm. Buffeted. And then uh, what does our opponent have in the back? Dragonite. Okay. So we definitely need to burn this thing. And I th think. Yeah. There's no reason to Terra. So, we're just gonna... Hurricane. E-Speed into Vivalon. That's fine. The crit did not matter. I think this thing is... Okay, so it's not Choice Band. We do- we've connected all three Will-O-Wisps. I can't complain about this. We're both just going to be taking residual chip damage. Depending on how bulky this thing is... Gosh, do I want a trick room? Nah, we're just going to try and start swinging. Here's Outrage. That's going to do a decent chunk of damage here. Ah, uh, oh, it's anybody's game. Do we survive this outrage? <laughs> Let's find out. We're going to see. Come on, Consuela. <laughs> we live on fucking three. We live on fucking three. We're gonna take this thing out with Nightshade. Oh my god, fucking Consuela. Consuela is named Consuela after um, the family guy made Consuela. No, no, I, I live on three. Alright, so we got ourselves a win with the team. That was really cool. Consuela pulling through. Eevee Light on Dusclops is incredible. It's, in my opinion, the best Trick Room setter in the game. For sure. Alright, so let's keep going. Two more games. I hope we can go like 3 for 3. That would be awesome. 3 for 3 would be super cool. Alright, so battle against Alex. What's up? Alright, is bringing a Glacier, a Dusclops, a Blood Moon, Ursaloon, a Goldingo, <sighs> Iron Bundle, and Pheasantipity. So, I'm seeing Trick Room is definitely trying to happen here. I think what we do is we put this shit to sleep. Um, he doesn't really have a good answer for, um, 
man, maybe we should just... I'm really tempted to lead, um... You know what, we're gonna showcase Slow and Steady and Twiggy. Um... <laughs> I don't know how well it'll work out, uh... What do we want to put to sleep? I do, mm, here's the thing. I don't know if we're def. Okay, so we're definitely moving slower. I've got Torkoal ready to like move as slow as it possibly can. So we can take out some trick. All right, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're gonna lead off with. Um, Lilligant and Torkoal. For the first time on the channel, here they come. It's Twiggy and Slow and Steady. Oh, I don't even know who that person is on that trainer card. Don't know. Um, oh, there's Mama number one. There's Glacier and Pheasantipity. I really don't see how... This thing is going to survive a... Do we want to hold the Terra? Do we want to hold the Terra? Terra Steel for... Yeah, we're going to hold the Terra. So we're going to after you onto Torkoal and we're going to just fire off an eruption. Glacier is going to protect. I don't know if Pheasantipity can handle this, but it's probably just gonna like Icy Wind or something stupid. And just hopefully land some Toxics. Or get the Toxic Chain. But we'll find out if this thing lives. It does live. And we are going to activate a Citrus Berry. Yep. Okay, Icy Wind. No, Dazzling Green. Which we survived just fine. We're gonna fire off another after you eruption. Yep. And I'm not too familiar with um, the little ice horse over there, aside from like Sword and Shield and Dynamax, and just being able to hit the Pokemon with like weakness policy and just setting them off and just going absolutely ape shit crazy so here comes the terra it's probably something to resist yep terra water and i can't remember if this thing gets trick room but if it does that so be it here comes an eruption it should still do a decent amount of damage we take out fezzendipity which that's, that's fine. That's really all we wanted to do. There's Icicle Crash, and we dodge it. Listen, I recorded some battles earlier, and I did just like a little bit of testing with Weavile. And Weavile with fucking um, stupid ass uh, Icicle Crash. I missed it. Well, I think I missed it every single time. So we're going to go with an after you again, and we are going to fire off yet another eruption. So I changed the moveset to Ice Spinner in place of um, Icicle Crash, and I also did Ice Shard over top of Sword Stance. Just, we've all too frail, even with the Focus Sash, to like, stay in and really efficiently be able to abuse, um, the fake out sword man. Iron Bundle, I don't think survives this. Nope. Okay, so our opponent's just going for a safe close combat. I don't blame them at all. I do not blame them whatsoever. Okay. Alright, so its attack is going to raise. Do I want to get rid of the sun yet? I don't 
think so. So we're gonna go in with Weavile here. And I can't remember if I said that my voice is just, it is, it's going through something right now. It is going through something right now. So we are going to fake out. Or shoot, do we want to knock off? So I'm pretty sure we seem protect on Glacier. Uh, I feel like if we don't kill this thing, we're gonna hit Ursaluna with that, and we're gonna fire off a a heat wave. So yeah, there's a protect. That was the right play. We're just straight up going for this knockoff to hit this thing. Okay, Glacier's gonna protect. Can we connect the heat wave? We do connect the heat wave. Which is awesome. Torkoal is incredible in the sun. It I mean it's just a great mod in the sun. Um, I was talking to my friend Maxwell earlier, actually, about um the importance of cores and you know what we are 100% going to just tear dark here because we can and just make sure that we take this thing out uh, but yeah the importance of okay so our opponent canceled all right two for two let's keep on going um the importance of cores uh being able to splash like two or three Pokemon into the mix helps adjust the way that your opponent will play with their core. Um, but as long as you've got a solid core, like you can just, you can basically build anything around it. Um, all right, so we got a win. Let's see if we can get this third and final win. I'm a little bit delusional from working for like 12 hours, so I'm a little bit tired. And I've also taken my sleeping pill, so it's pretty late. <laughs> but we're going to see if we can get one more win out of this lovely team of ours. Alright, we are going up against Titus. Titus. Who is bringing a um, Chi Yu, Amoongus, Tornadus, Landorus, Fluttermane, and an unknown... Urshifu. Honestly. I feel like we could get away with some shenanigans with. His Swain Lilligan and Torkoal. But I don't want to set the Protosynthesis off on Fluttermane. So I think what we're going to do is lead with, yeah, you know what, yeah, we'll lead with that, with Vivalon and Weavile, and then go into, hmm. yeah, uh, Consuela and Fatbag, Tyranitar and Dusclops. It's kind of a rough matchup just looking at it on paper. So Titus has the same dead behind the eyes trainer card as us. But a bitch and outfit. Alright, so there's Chiyu and Fluttermane. The special defense fell of all Pokemon. Fluttermane did not. Fluttermane did not get any kind of boost. So I think we're going to sleep Potter there. And I think. I think we're gonna fake out here. Which we're probably gonna see a terror ghost, perhaps. Oh. Okay. It maybe it's scarfed or spec. 
it might think that it can outspeed um, Vivalon. And it sure can, what's it going for, into Weavile. But we're going to put this thing to sleep. Alright, it is taking a nap. And we are going to sleep powder into Chi Yu. And I think what we want to do... is knock off those things uh choice scarf i know that it's resisting this but knocking off its choice scarf and just in hopes that the flutter main stays asleep yeah damn that was still a hard hit flutter main's focus sash I am confused. I don't understand. Uh, let's. We'll go into Dust Clops and we're gonna just take this thing out with an Ice Spinner. Alright, so out comes Pinsuela. She has choice specs. Fluttermane woke up. How are we getting... Oh, wait, no, it's... Okay, I see what's going on. I forgot that Weavile isn't the same as... Okay, that's just the heat wave, that's fine. That actually did a little too much damage for my liking. Uh, we'll go out here into Vivalon again. And Vivlon may actually have enough to Tyranitar can do a decent amount of damage. Yeah. Okay. So let's Hurricane the Fluttermane and just try to kill it. We may, I don't know. Yep, okay, so Hurricane takes this thing out. We're gonna get hit by a heat wave. It could very well miss. I mean, if it doesn't, nope, I think it double connected. Yep, okay. Alright, so out comes Tyranitar. Tornadus. Okay. So it's locked into Heat Wave, which that's fine. We're gonna whip up this sand stream. And I mean I guess we're just gonna fire off Rock Slide, see what happens. Why would it? I don't understand. Don't burn, don't burn, don't burn. Connect, double connect, come on. Alright, so Tornado survived that. Damn, if we would have connected that rock slide. Landorus. guess just so it can like land bleak wind storms uh i think that ice punch should be able to take this thing out but also an earthquake stomping sand is really gonna do a lot of damage too yep that sucks i think that we could we maybe maybe could have won the rock slide would have definitely killed uh, Tornadus, and then the Ice Punch 
it's four times super effective against landers, but you know what? Two out of three ain't bad. Um, we'll go back here and check out the team real quick. We will go back here and check out the team. Dude, my poor voice, my poor throat, my vocal cords are just fucking going through the ringer. All right, let's go look at it. Do, 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 do. Alright, well, hey, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure and give a sub, a thumbs up, definitely leave me a comment in the comment section below, letting me know what you guys would like to see, any certain Pokemon showcase, I will build, <laughs> showcase, I will build the team around it, and we'll make it happen, as always, the, um, rental code is up there in the top right hand corner, um, but yeah, I will see you guys later.